bottom of the fifth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Adam Engel. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Now at the plate, Yohan Moncada, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Way. Strike taken the throw in time as he just gets the tag down. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. One out, nobody on. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as they push this lead up to nine now. Swings and grounds it to short. Throw gets him two down. Twins are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Well, this certainly wasn't what they were looking for in this one. They were hoping to get some innings, but you could see right from the get-go he just didn't have it in this one. Lasting only three innings. A lot of outs now to get from that bullpen. Here comes the first pitch. Tim Anderson stands in as he looks at a called strike. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Swing and oh my, hit him with the high and gone. An absolute bomb. So a solo shot here to left center field. One shy of the magic number now. 49 home runs thus far as the blowout continues. Swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set with the 0-1. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We're through five here at the ballpark. The White Sox lead it 13 to three. Stepping up to the plate, Nelson Cruz. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. First delivery to him on the way. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. 
Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, oh, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here's Miguel Sano. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. And now, Mitch Garver. He's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Popped up. Moncada has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. And as you can see, they are way behind. Up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The left fielder, Andrew Vaughn. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Grounded to third. And there's one away. Now back, first baseman, Jose Abreu. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jose Abreu. His performance in this one really speaks to how dominant he's been all year. He made short work of some solid pitching today. Yeah, usually it's the other way around, but when you sit in the top three in the home run lead in Major League Baseball, you're probably calling the shots yourself right now. This guy is on fire. He's already got a multi-homer game and looking for more. And quickly, there are two away. Now back, the designated hitter, Jay Bruce. Next will be the designated hitter, Jay Bruce. So far, two for three in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Donaldson is there. And how about that? A three pitch inning as the side is retired. Down in order go the White Sox. But you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in the outfielder Eddie Rosario. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at 93 that time. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Rosario behind with an 0 and 2 count. High in the air out to center field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. 
Now batting. Designated hitter. Jorge Colonco. Uh, the rain coming down as it is we are in for a long delay the hope is now that they can get this one in at some point now this is this is where it becomes tricky for the managers right now you have your pitchers out there you have to be careful not to hurt anybody so I think the guys that are sitting in the bullpen are, are on red alert as, as the delay has begun and I'm sure both of the managers have a pretty good idea of who's going to be the pitcher to go in after this delay. Jorge Polanco comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit softly on the ground to third. On to first, and there are two down. Now batting the first base, Josh Donaldson. And welcome back inside the ballpark as the weather has finally cleared up. Carlos Radon will take the rubber once again after the long delay. It'll be interesting to see how that might affect him. But stepping in to get play started again, Josh Donaldson. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Abreu has room in foul territory, and that retires the side. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. White Sox on top, 13 to 3. Sergio Romo comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Sergio Romo. Stepping up now, James McCann. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. ready here's the first offering and he throws the fastball oh, by him oh, here 0 and 1 head to head numbers against Sergio Romo he's gone 3 for 11 he's also gone down on strikes five times swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter. And instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Stepping in now, Adam Engel. And it's grounded just foul down the line. off and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning that's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At 
the plate now. Johan Moncada as he swings and hits a laser to right. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single, three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Into the box, Leori Garcia hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and he makes the catch in the corner. A man left for the White Sox, but not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Jay Spry has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Jay Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Marwin Gonzalez. From the stretch. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. Fry is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Byron Buxton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Drives it out to deep right center field. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump. And maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it. But he's able to lace this thing off the wall. And he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. To the plate now, Luis Arias. This pitch is popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swung on and missed that strike two. Fry is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. Moncada is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Now batter, right fielder. Nelson Cruz. The next twin up, Nelson Cruz, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No, that's down. One and one. I got a ball, one strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
Good riding action to that thing, and it's balled in two strikes. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. One left for Minnesota, and they remain well, well behind. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Hit in the air out toward left. Rosario is there. One down. The batter, number one, second baseman, Nick. Madrigal. Now at the plate, Nick Madrigal. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First delivery to him on the way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there, two gone. The left fielder, number 25, Andrew Vaughn. In now, Andrew Vaughn. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Rosario is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. White Sox down on just four pitches. But you can forgive him as they still hold an enormous lead. Aaron Bummer comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Aaron. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the first pitch to him. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. The 0-2 delivery. swing and a shot hit down the corner nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game a reminder that full highlights come your way as we'll look back at the key moments of the matchup from here in Chicago. Now with the plate, Mitch Garver. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing there. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days pitching has become a full staff effort and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So now to the plate Eddie Rosario. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. There seem to be different philosophies on it, so Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Final strike for the Twins. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Minnesota, good night. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 13 to 3, the final score. The Chicago White Sox with the division best 104th winner. Carlos Radon records his 21st win of the year. Jose Barrios worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Tonight's paid attendance at Guaranteed Rate Field, 40,615. The White Sox thank you for attending and encourage you to buckle up and please drive home safely.